right, here he is, the former UFC lightweight champion, a man for whom one name is good enough, Showtime. And you watch him, you know that when he goes, it's going to be a show. So when he turns his back to the camera and points at the Showtime, right. it always gets people excited because in a few moments, you're gonna watch something very, very fun. From that Showtime kick to the submission of Benson Henderson in Milwaukee, to the knockout of Wonder Boy Thompson, even in defeat when he fought Tony Ferguson, the stock of Anthony Pettis continues to rise even though he's been here for a while. As versatile a finisher as we have in the game at present, moves up to welterweight, promptly knocks out Stephen Wonderboy Thompson as a sizable underdog that night. Far be it from me to doubt anything that Anthony Pettis can accomplish in a mixed martial arts setting. He is back for more here tonight. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Taekwondo fighter, holding a professional record of 24 wins, 10 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, presenting the former UFC lightweight champion, Anthony Showtime! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, 5 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Donegal, Ireland, Irish Joe Duffy. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. Ready. All right, so we got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked. Find it. Find the kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Yeah. Right hand upstairs. Keep your face Big head kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Seems to have timed that counter pretty well. 
Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off him. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Anthony Showtime Pets. Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by Pets. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. 90 seconds remain in the round. Nice body kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. Look at the turn and that kick. There's no tell on that leg kick. All right, single collar tie now. Right hand punch with the clinch. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. In the tie clinch, look for the knees to start. Ooh, what a head kick. Connects with the right hand, pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Huh. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, here we go, DC. Our next round is underway, and he's chasing some punch stat records tonight. That was some serious volume and efficiency in the previous round. Normally, you see that in boxing where a guy just throws so many strikes. But this man has taken it to the octagon. Look, oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, big left hook there. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Just a slip there. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Three minutes now to go in round two. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Nice punch there by Pettis. Oh, spinning back fist. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Hand up, hand up. Duffy gets hit with a kick. It was a good night if that landed. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Good. Now 
Nice sneaky head kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Final seconds here of round number two. All right, round three coming up next. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Ooh, what a punch. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Caught that. No, there's danger in that, too, because when you start reaching on to catch that kick, you're coming to high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Blocks the shot. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his Man. opponent left and right. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, no. Blocks the shot. Oh, nice punch there by Pettis. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Duffy. All right, side control now. How good is that right hand? Pettis is trying for a submission here. Trouble here. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here. And you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. All right, here's round four. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. That's a really strong leg kick there by Pettis. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Ooh, what a punch. 
look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Well placed kick there by Pettis. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, just misses with the kick. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Just over three minutes to go. Well, Pettis' lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Both fighters throwing heat now. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body, connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Well, no surprises, he connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that cut. Right on the cut, and he's targeting it, right? He's looking, you can see him almost putting a laser beat on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much, he just keeps making it split. Oh! He's in trouble, he's hurt bad. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Duffy. Oh! He got him. Oh, big left. Oh, straight right. Nice straight punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. 20 seconds left. Oh, and there is the kick. That one checked by Duffy. Lance with the right hand. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You ready to fight? Ready. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. Checks that leg kick. Good oh. punch, Land. Oh, oh, he's got him hurt here. And that one was heavy. Straight right hand, no good. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Just misses there with the left. Straight punch lands. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Well, Pettis is jumping. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Just misses with the jab there. Caught the kick. Marty closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Nice, Lacey. Whoa! Holy smoke! He put him to sleep! Let's go! Get him off! Get him off! 
Under two minutes now to decide this one. Oh, he's got a lot of different arm bars he can go to attacking here. Gotta be careful, arm bar. Oh, he picks him up and slams him down. Big explosive slam to lift him and slam him out of that arm bar. Go right into side control. Now let's see what he does, right? Sometimes when you do that, the choke or the yes. submission can get tighter, but he was able to evade it there. Yes. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Pettis. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Whip his hip into that kid. What else can you say but what a fight? All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 48-47. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Anthony Showtime Pettis! All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead and dance. He did that from start to finish, and he wins a unanimous decision.